Alright, we're in the morgue. Magnum rounds. Good, because I wasted a few dicking around with the freaking swingy monsters. Uh, of course, I don't have an MO disc now. Whole damn reason why you go in here, other than to get the Magnum rounds. What? <laughs> Fucker. I swear, I'm this close to giving up the shotgun for good. <sighs> Puzzle reset. There were zombies. They reset too for some damn reason. All right, there's one more. Wasn't even close to hitting him, but it worked. Oh, there's the last machine. Alright, so let's get that damn, uh... Should have picked up that last MO disc.
I know I went and when I played the game the first time, I didn't ma I'm pretty sure I played as Jill my first time playing through the game. And I don't think I rescued Chris. I don't think I managed to get him. Then I played the game, uh, well, I ran through it and I did manage to collect like all the ammos and that kind of stuff. So I more or less to save him, I just had to go and pick all this stuff out and run it through the run it through the machines and then I could rescue him. But I didn't realize what I had to do, so I didn't do it. Is that you, Jill? Oh, Chris, you're alive! Of course. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. I know, Chris. Anyway, I have to open this room. It doesn't work. Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? Thanks. I'll be waiting here for you. Really, what the hell else are you gonna do? How the hell do you get here, anyway? Did Wesker run around and stick things in crests and holes and all that kind of stuff and then drain the fountain and bring you all the way down here? Or is there another less stupid way of getting here? One that perhaps only took him five minutes. But whatever. Oh, the zombies are alive again. Not respawning in this room. Ah, that's right. Power. Oh no, I did what I had to do in there, didn't I? like that shit, bro. Here we go. You assholes ain't getting me again. I killed all of them, didn't I? Yeah. You know, I don't know what those things are called. Ah. Oh yeah, okay, you connect it here, then you connect it there. I connected it here already when I came through here earlier. Alright. Head straight to the elevator. I got all the gear I need. I always pictured they were just some sort of upgraded hunter. But no, they got like extra legs and shit. Like they're spiders or something. But they got, like, humanish faces. Jill! Now you show up. Where the hell have you been for the past while? You left me in that hole, you asshole. I was looking for you. Barry. Jill, don't be angry. I wanted you to wait for me. Barry, don't screw up again like you did when you dropped that rope. Ha <laughs> 
I don't think I've ever seen that dialogue there. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. Oh, that's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Tyrant virus is a super virus, which creates a monster which is much stronger than human beings. Tyrant is the most powerful biological weapon in the world. You don't mean you're experimenting on real people? This is really beautiful. All this power will be mine. For the sake of an awful creature? Don't be upset. All weak people exist to be eaten. Come this way! No! It can't control what it does. Let's try not to feel sorry for this damn thing. Alright, so let's... 
do some killing. Oh. Okay, that was a bit quick. Why the hell not? He's dead. Moving on. Oh, do I have to hit a computer or something? Why the hell's you th never mind. Didn't look like that door control for the Hey look, ancient ass computers. Fuck. <laughs> Came out of nowhere with that shit. Wrong door, Jill. Even bother telling me to discard the key. Oh, Jill! Sorry for keeping you waiting. So everything is done? Well, almost, yes. Now let's go. You see, everybody doesn't have a weapon. Let's go! Of course, the um, self-destruct system wasn't activated. So, well, shit, uh, not every version of the ending sees that happen. Eh. Jill! Hi, Jill. It's you. Barry? I'm really embarrassed to see you now. Just, just leave me. Go, go quickly. It's over, Barry. Wesker's dead. Is that so? Jill, will you do me a favor? This is my last wish. Please give this photo to my family. Will you? Sure. For 
Give me, Jill. My God! Give this photo of my family to my family. I guess it was a note. Let's get going, Chris. We can't stop. 